Hodge had a problem. She did not want to fall in love with Carl Meyer. She was appalled by his table manners. What? His personal ethics. What? And his wandering eye. What? No, Brie did not want to fall for Carl Meyer. But she knew in her heart that she was starting to. And that's why she also knew the time had come. We have to talk. To leave. Hey, <laughs> what's with the face? You dumping me? Carl. Oh my God. You are dumping me. We've both known this couldn't last forever, so let's end it now before someone gets hurt. <laughs> but it's going so well. I feel we're getting closer. We are. That's the problem. When I agreed to be your lover, I felt quite sure that my disdain for your vulgarity and astounding lack of scruples would preclude any chance of my developing feelings for you, but against all reason, it's happening. I don't want to fall in love with a man I'm not even sure I like. I'm glad we're being careful about no one getting hurt. Please, let's not make this any harder than it has to be. Okay, you say we're done? We're done. I was gonna wait to give you this later, maybe over dinner or something. I guess now it's sort of a parting gift. I couldn't. Open it. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, and it's inscribed to my dear and beloved Irene. Irene was my grandmother. My grandpa gave it to her on their first wedding anniversary. Well, she had no granddaughters, so she willed it to me. She said, someday, you'll find the perfect woman to give this to. And she was right. I, I, I know how you feel. I, I didn't plan on falling for you, either. And I don't blame you for wanting to run the other way. And for what it's worth, I love you. And in that moment, Brie knew the time to leave her lover had come. And gone.